Welcome to my channel, you guys. As you guys can see here, I have a toilet seat, but it's not just any toilet seat, it's actually a bidet. My name is DeAndre Anthony, and this is another episode of Whatchamacallit and Thingamajig. How to clean the nozzle okay <clears throat> so to clean the nozzle okay that nozzle is I think the nozzle is oh no the nozzle is right there okay so to clean the nozzle uh, you will have to you will have to uh, hit you will have to you will have to hit the um, the wash button you have to hit the wash button, hold it, hit the button, and hold it down for three seconds, and then the nozzle should extend out. Okay? So, I got lucky because I was like, you know what? I didn't even pre wash it before I showed you guys because whatever had residue on it. <laughs> so, what you're going to do is you can either get um, a soft uh, toothbrush to clean the nozzle, or you can just get you know, like a, a, a cloth or a, I'm, right now I'm using some toilet paper to uh, clean it off. Um, it does self clean. Once it goes back inside, it does self clean. But you know, sometimes if we have that, you know, one of those uh, sp uh, splashing moments, uh, you know, it may uh, not clean it as much. So, you know, once you, regularly clean the bathroom maybe you want to just uh, orchestrate cleaning um, this thing as well okay now you can remove this nozzle so to remove it you turn it to the left and then pull it off okay so you can do that all right all right so I just put it back in it's done so to close that back up what you do is just hit the wash button one time and it should go back in Oh, you know what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So what you do is you hit the stop button and then it goes back in. Okay. And now it's, it just did like a quick self clean. And that's pretty much it. Um, it does suggest when you clean uh, the toilet seat to not use any hard detergents. Do not spray any water on it, and do not use a hose to clean the body, okay? So they really suggest you to do that. If you're gonna do the clean, if you're gonna actually start cleaning it, they, I did the wrong thing. You're supposed to unplug this. You're supposed to unplug this, and, um, and then start doing some cleaning. But they suggest you to not do any hard, hard chemical cleaning, like OxyClean, anything that has um, I think it's called basine or basine chemicals or something like that. So just make sure that um, you maintain this thing properly. You, uh, it's, it's a little penny. For me, I'm like, if it costs this much, I want to make sure I keep it as long as I can. So just make sure you guys, I think maybe just get like some little wipes, you know, and just use wipes and uh, clean it off like that. Uh, that's pretty much it, you guys. Um, there's other things that you can look at the instruction manual on, on how to drain it. So there's like a little drain button here, on this, underneath here. As you can see, there's a little drain button right here. Um, so just follow the instructions on how to drain the water from the tank. Um, how to clean the nozzle when it's time to clean it. But all of those things will be in the instructions. Um, and th that's pretty much it, you guys. Oh, one more thing. One more thing, which I think is cool. Now, as you can see, a little water splattered right here. So it must have turned over here. But other than that, there's no splatter anywhere else. 
Okay, so here's a cool thing also. So the toilet seat does not come up, it does not pull up automatically, but it does uh, has a soft close. I'm not gonna say it automatically closes, but it has a soft close. So once you close the seat, so it goes down softly, just like that fancy uh, kitchen cabinet. And then the, the lid does the same thing. It goes down faster, but it's not gonna harm the seat. So please do not rush it to go down. It's actually on some axle. So you don't want to damage it. I suggest you not to try to damage your product because this is not a cheap product. It might not be expensive to you, but it's not cheap. So you wanna make sure that you keep this thing as long as you can. Okay, you guys, that actually concludes my video. If you guys have any questions, please stop and drop down below and make a comment. I would definitely respond back to you guys if you guys have any questions. Um, also, like this video and subscribe to my channel because every Thursday I have another segment of what you call it in Thingamajig. So I will have a different product that I can show you guys that you guys may want to use. Uh, so that's pretty much it. <laughs> Thank you guys for stopping by. Peace. Bye. <laughs>